Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I already have my spring 2020 edit sale box of goodies here. I haven't been on the forum lately to see what measures FabFitFun is taking in light of this really crazy thing that's going on in the world right now. I hope that they're taking measures and keeping their employees safe. But that aside, let's just try to put Put that out of our minds and think of this as another fun FabFitFun video. So I do have a rag and I do have some rubbing alcohol. I will be wiping things down. I'll cut it out so you don't have to watch me do all of that. This is like gold right here. So my goal is to always spend under $200 on these sales. As usual, I will put in the description box below what I bought and what I paid for it. So I'm gonna jump right in. I was really, really excited to see the London Town Nail stuff show up in the sale again. I've always eyed it, always wanted it, but in the past there have been other things that caught my eye that I wanted more. So this time I was able to stick to my budget and get every single London Town product they had. I've heard good things about this line. They are nine free, I believe. Check out their website if you like doing your nails as much as I do. You'd probably be just as excited as I am. So this is just the top coat and base coat, a strengthener base coat, so it comes in this little duo like this. You can't see this one, but trust that that's what it is. <laughs> and then I got their Accelerating Drying Oil and their Instant Smudge Fix. I've never really used a smudge fix, but I figured why not? It was either five or seven dollars. Again, I will put the prices in the description box below so you can see. And then I got their two-in-one serum. It's a hand and nail treatment. Uh, so that's this big guy right here. So I was intrigued by that. I, I went ahead and got them all. Typically, I would just get, that's not focusing, but anyway, you can see it, I think, well enough. Typically, I would just get the base and top coat and a color, but I kind of thought, you know, while I'm at it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try all these things. They're really high quality and they're great prices, so. And then there should be one more in here somewhere. Yes, so this is their Illuminating Nail Concealer, and I didn't take the label off very well. I kind of struggled with that, but it looks like this. It's basically like an iridescent, semi-opaque coat of nail color. So I'm excited to paint my nails. I've been wanting to, and then this whole coronavirus thing happened, and then I haven't felt like there, there was a point to it, but perhaps, you know, part of beauty is, the point is that we also feel pretty too, so maybe I should start doing some pampering that, that might help me out a little bit. <laughs> I'm showering, but pampering is another story. I'm still working, um, so that's that's nice. I'm very grateful for that, that I'm able to take my job remote and work from home as much as I dislike working from home. At least I get to work. Okay, I'm trying, I don't wanna talk about that too much, but of course it's just consuming us all right now. So the next thing I got was the Luxme Goddess Glow. This has wonderful reviews on Sephora, and I've talked about um, her the founder in my video the, this story this is the third time and last time I'll tell it in case you are familiar with my videos and you're like yeah yeah we know so I just started a new job a couple of months ago and one of the big cheeses came into my office to introduce himself and I had the her bomb it's like the shea butter bomb I had it on my desk and he looks down and he says Wow, I've known, I know the owner of that company. He's like, yeah, there's a picture of me holding her when she was a baby. And then he went on to very bluntly say she died last week. This was a couple months ago. And I was, after I went from smiling to my jaw just like dropping. And I guess she died of some sort of cancer. I don't really know the details. Her name was Lila Jana, and she did wonderful things with her company and helping women get. Um, uh, I believe the main thing that she did was she helped employ women in areas of need. So I'm excited to support the company and learn more about the company and share about her legacy. She died very young. She was my age. So uh, that's 37. <laughs> she may have been 38 by now, but I believe we were born the same year. And that was just such serendipity that I happened to have it on my desk and he walks in and he knew her and knew her since she was a baby. Anyway, so we're gonna swatch this. So here it is. It's a good size. This should probably last a while. It's a hydrating illuminator, so it's a little bit like a highlighter. 
Um, so I'll just do it on the back of my hand, I suppose, maybe a little on my cheek. It's very pink. Looks like that. I'm gonna rub it around on the back of my hand, actually. That was a lot, so I will put some on my cheek as well. Although with this lighting, I don't know that that's gonna show up all that well. I have the, I'm kind of backlit. Even myself out. I have no foundation or any other makeup on. So this would just be how it would look alone. It's a very subtle, I don't even know if the camera will pick it up, and it might look better if it's paired with foundation and a face of makeup, but it's definitely, it's definitely highlighting. I'm not sure if you can see. This is the hand that it's on. All I can see are my veins popping out. I will use this when I get around to doing Get Ready With Me's and more of my videos. Again, I am still, I will give an update at the end of this video as far as where I'm at and what's going on in my life. That's also just beyond coronavirus, kind of crazy too. Everything's packed up, but I will get around to doing Get Ready With Me's and product review videos once I'm settled in a new home. <laughs> and that should be in about a month. I'll do an update at the end of this video. Okay, so that's that. I maxed out on, and I have talked about this so many times in my videos that I won't really even talk about it, but I maxed out on this Grown Alchemist Polishing Facial Exfoliant. My husband's discovered it, and he really likes it too, so I can smell it on him sometimes. I can tell he uses it when I have it in the shower. I love this stuff. This is, this and their cream cleanser are my favorite things from Grown Alchemist that I've used, and I've used a lot of their stuff. So I maxed out on that. I maxed out on something else. Oh yeah, I maxed out on the Marrakesh hair oils. So I had maxed out on the leave-in, <laughs> the leave-in treatment and detangler, detangler, and I got one this sale. Even though I maxed out last sale, I just love them. And for five dollars, they retail for sixteen dollars. It's a great price. It works really well in my hair. And if you like the smell of like kind of really expensive new agey incense, then you'll really like it. So I got another one of those despite maxing out last time. And then I maxed out on their hair oil, which I still have half a bottle left. But I remember, I thought of, I thought to myself, I really, really hope that they have the Marrakesh hair oil again soon. I hadn't seen it in a sale in a while. And lo and behold, it was available in the next sale after I, I thought, had that thought. So I'm really excited about that. I have a stash. These last me a while. I typically use hair oils when my hair is, um, when I straighten my hair. I also got another favorite of mine. This is the Hey Honey Propolis Foot Cream, Walk to Walk Foot Cream. I have one, I'm about halfway through, so now I have a backup. I really like this stuff. It does take a while to absorb, so I put it on and then I put my, I put like nice comfy socks and I do it right before I'm gonna be going to bed. So it's not something that you would expect to be able to like put on and then put on your shoes, socks and shoes, and then walk out the door. Then it might feel a little bit like greasy in your shoes, but Definitely a nighttime foot cream. Then I did it. I got the Ofra Sun Kissed Body Glow. And this is like lotion for your legs, but it's like makeup lotion for your legs. Let's see how this looks on my other hand. And now with the coronavirus, I'm not gonna be able to wear this over the summer, maybe, unless we can start going out and living our lives again by the summer. I'm not really gonna be able to wear it during shorts weather. I'll have to wait. Okay, so this one's sun-kissed, so it's a little more tan looking. That's how it looks coming out. And I will rub this around on the back of my hand. It's a little bit sparkly. I think there's mica in it. And I'll have to do a leg comparison where I put it on one full leg and then don't have it on another leg and put a picture up. I'll do that at some point when I do a product review video. Oh, and then I got the Lolly Plum Elixir. This is a wonderful face oil. I don't need face oil, but I was just so excited to see it in the sale. Plum elixirs are heavenly to use. I discovered it when I got a little guy in a Petty Bear box that was just 
the most pleasant facial oil I've ever, ever used. The smell was amazing, the way it sunk in was amazing, and I have used this. I got a little freebie sample, I just had to pay shipping, and I really enjoyed this one too. This one has a little bit of a nutty scent as well, I would say. Oh, I can smell it and confirm that for you. Yeah, there's a little bit of a nuttiness to it, but it just, to me, it smells heavenly. It's uh, it's plum, but it's almost like a little bit cherry-like. It smells really, really good. Oh, and then, oh wow, this is smaller than I thought it would be. I got the African Botanics um, Therapy Gel. And I finally did it. I keep asking my husband whenever I see it in a cell if he'd be interested in it. He has a really bad back and he keeps saying no, no, but this time I just went ahead and got it. How many ounces is this? This is only two ounces. I didn't double check, I didn't confirm, but I'm surprised. I thought it was gonna be more like five or something. So it's like that. And then I'm gonna let him use it and I will let you know what I think of it. It has a strong mentholy smell. I can smell it through the safety seal. So I will let you know, people love this stuff. People say it helps with migraines, sore muscles, etc. They don't say it's like a cure-all, but they say it definitely decreases the pain that they're feeling. A few more things. This Kalos face mask. I don't need any more face masks, but I like the brand a lot. They check off all of my boxes as far as the criteria that I look for in products, and which is cruelty free, sustainable, all of that things, and then extra points if they donate their some of their proceeds to some sort of humanitarian project. And this one checks those boxes. And this is the Triple Threat Detox Mask, and it had tons and tons of really, really good reviews. So I am excited to try that and let you know what I think. Sorry about the lighting, it seems to be going darker and lighter. I'm in, sorry about the lighting. Okay, so I am very, very pregnant. I am in my eighth month of pregnancy and they had some nursing stuff. So this is nursing nipple cream, I think. Green Goo Nursing Comfort. I can use this on my nipples. It doesn't say the word nipples on the packaging. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> cracked and moisturizes cracked and sore nipples. So Green Goo, people love their products as well. I do have the dry skin one and it just kind of sits on the shelf. It is one of, uh, even more so than like the Hey Honey Walk the Walk when I was describing that you have to really let it settle, settle in, use it at night. It's very, very moisturizing. You can feel the oils in it and you just really have to kind of let it sit on you. I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, you have to let it sit on you and give it its time to absor absorb. So it just kind of sits in the shelf. That doesn't mean it's not a good one, but that's what my impression is of it, my brief little review. But I'm excited, I do need something like this, and this was an inexpensive option that was available in the sale, so I'm excited about that. Then I am finally gonna try something from Neon & Co. I have seen this product in the sales, many, many sales in a row. I don't really see people talking about them all that much, but finally I started to see some people talking about some of the products. People were saying really good things about the shampoo and conditioner that was available, and I almost got that, but I have plenty. And then they were saying really good things about this hair mask, so I could use a hair mask on deck. And they, they said it smelled kind of fruity. So let's see if I agree. I do, I do agree. Even through the safety seal, that could change when I do open it, but I don't wanna open it until I'm ready to use it to extend the life. But I do think it smells fruity through the, the safety seal, and people said that they really enjoyed using this mask. So I'm excited to try it. I've been curious, I've been waiting for people to start talking about this line of products because there aren't a lot of reviews online. I don't think I showed it to you. It looks like that. Neon & Co. Hair and Scalp Mask. That's it, that's everything I got. It was just under $200. So an update on what's going on with me. I am working from home. I'm very, very grateful that I still get to work. I am worried about so many wonderful people in this world who are being sent home with no other source of income. They're just now suddenly not getting paid and that's awful. So I'm super grateful for that. That aside, it's very hard for me to work from home. I'm very stir crazy. I, if I wanted to work from home, you know, I would have sought out a position where I could work from home. It's not, I'm not cut out for it, but that's, that's fine. That's fine. I still get to work. I am 30 weeks and three days pregnant. I am hoping that things blow over before the baby comes or at least that they'll allow 
my husband in the delivery room with me. Right now, I believe it's only one person, your partner or some support person in the room is allowed in most labor and delivery cases. I'm not really trying to think about that. I want to take this one day at a time and I'm not due until June 3rd, so things could be very different. Hopefully they're better, we don't know. But I try not to listen too much to all the scary stuff that's on Instagram, that's on the internet. There's a lot of really scary stuff, a lot of people just kind of sharing misinformation and um, I'm, I personally am trying to only follow what the CDC and the World Health Organization share and say. Otherwise, there are a lot of, you know, op-eds and articles that people are writing. People are predicting it'll last this long or that long. And, you know, it, I, I, I personally can't listen to any of that. I have to shut it out or else I'll, I'll start to go a little bit bonkers. I have been diagnosed with gestational diabetes. I am managing that. It, I was devastated when I learned, but I also learned that it's nothing that I did. At first I felt like I was a failure. <laughs> it was my first failure as a mother, but uh, no, that's not true. Uh, they, numerous health professionals reassured me that it was not my fault, that the placenta release is a hormone that causes insulin, insulin resistance. And some women have more of that hormone than others and they are therefore more insulin resistant than others and they are they therefore have gestational diabetes so i have to take my blood four times a day i have to take insulin at night and i have to eat six times a day so that's really time consuming but i am managing it i think i've figured it out and the baby is otherwise very, very healthy. I am in an escrow on a house and that is supposed to close within the next week. So within the next 10 days, we hope to be in our new house. That will be so fantastic. My parents have been amazingly accommodating and that's where we are staying, but they will probably throw, throw a party when we're gone. I mean, they've, they've really put up with us because we've just been cranky and crabby with everything going on and not having our own space. And it's, it's, it'll feel really, really good when we finally do. I hope that you are, uh, staying safe and, and sheltering and quarantining as much as possible in order to if nothing else, not spread the virus and alleviate any stress on hospitals and hospital workers. Thank you to all of the hospital workers out there. If you're one of them or if you're a delivery driver, all of those people, you are amazing right now. We need you so much right now. I hope that you have a wonderful day and thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I will be posting more soon in the next month or so i will be posting more of my regular videos as i mentioned uh, everything that i have including most of my makeup and girly products that i want to share what my thoughts are um on them with you it's all packed up so if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video bye